Good morning, everyone. I just woke up. Can you tell? Wow. I feel like I always just woke up in all my videos. Anyways, it's 7.15 right now. I don't know why I showed you my phone. And I just made my oatmeal. And today, it's long run day. Okay. It's long run day. We have 100 to 115 minutes. So that's nearly two hours. This is by far the longest run I've ever done in my whole entire life. So that'll be interesting. Um, but so it's 7.15 right now. I'm gonna scarf down this bowl of oatmeal because we all know Emma likes to be a little full rather than a little hungry before she goes running. I also have some coffee right there, of course. And then in an hour and a half or so, we're gonna head out. Maybe even an hour, depending on how fast I feel like the oatmeal is digested and then we're gonna get a move on I have no idea how many miles this is about to be it's about to be a lot of running so let's get it it is 8.08 right now and I'm just gonna do a little bit of foam rolling before I leave and also use my soul healers for a little bit of foot massage so I ran about 70 minutes yesterday so that was a pretty long run too so this is gonna be um, interesting to see how my body you know, holds up for two hours. Now I just got the text saying that I can run for two hours if my body feels good, so. <laughs> got my little yoga mat. enough filming. I'm gonna keep foam rolling. And the next thing that I'm gonna be using, so if you guys watch my product video, um, I already showed these, but these are soul healers. So I had never heard of these before, but the woman who owns this company offered to send me a pair and I could try them out. So that's exactly what I did. I tried out, <laughs> I tried out this pair for probably the first chunk of my training. I would use these soul healers every time before I went running and also when I got home. So these soul healers, um, as you can see, I'll show them on here again. I showed them on my product video, but basically they have like little pokey things that poke into the bottom of your foot that just kind of like give it that massage feel. So these soul healers are really interesting because there's not like a tool that's specifically used for your foot that I know of. A lot of people have come to me for like plantar fasciitis problems, so a pair of these would work super well. And as I said in my product video, it has like a little bit of a give, so it's not like it's like super hard and it, I don't know, it really does a good job of massaging your feet. So I've been really, really liking these. I'm super excited because now I'm actually an ambassador for soul healers and it's such a great fit because I really, really like incorporating these into my routine every single day and you know I'm trying to do the little things more often and this is just another thing that I add to my recovery plan and they've really helped me with this marathon training you know just spending so much time on my feet that I'm not used to like today I have to run for two hours so that really takes a toll on my feet you know I have noticed that my feet have been getting a lot more beaten up lately just because I haven't been running you know prior to this marathon training so if you have like plantar fasciitis pain I highly highly recommend these they really really do relieve tension um, in your foot and I'll demonstrate how I use them right now okay I usually like to leave mine right by the front door so that when I get back in from my run um, I can just you know hop right on these bad boys do not mind <laughs> So I have literally no excuses <laughs> when I get back. I see these bright blue soul healers right away. So, okay, first, usually I just like step on them. <laughs> I've never really filmed my feet before. And then you just kind of like sway back and forth. Isn't this exciting? It's like foam rolling your feet. Sometimes I like to touch my calves on them too. Okay, then I just throw them off to the side and wait until I get home with my run. So that is that. And I'm super excited to be partnering with Soul Healers for um, this marathon training. They've seriously helped me so much. And if you have planner problems, I really, really highly recommend it. Or if you're just looking for like another recovery tool to add into your daily routine, um, I've really noticed a difference with my feet. Like I've, I really do not pay enough attention to my feet. Um, I don't know why we don't talk about it more because obviously like the impact that your feet have through all of your running is like insane and it really does make a difference. I also learned more about that um, when I was up at Nike too. They talked a lot about your feet. So 
If you're interested in soul healers, there's a link in my description down below. And um, yeah, now let's, uh, I've got some um, electrolytes already for the run later, for after the run. And then also I'm bringing a strawberry kiwi gel with me because we get to eat this halfway through, yummy. First time eating and running, so that will be interesting. I'll document it, of course, so let's go. Alrighty, we've made it to the coast, of course. Literally the only place I run. First, I'm gonna start off with um, some drills, some leg swings, and then we're gonna get going. I'm already showing my lunge warm up in the hill workout video, and leg swings are very average, so. Got my heart rate monitor, got my Garmin on. Let's go, baby. <laughs> okay, I just found a rock to put my phone on. Um, I was gonna film a little bit when I was on the way um, out. It's already been 56 minutes and 32 seconds, but I honestly didn't feel so good. Um, so I just focused on the run. I'll probably feel more on the way back. Um, I've been feeling better as the run goes on. Right now it's like an hour in, so we're about halfway. I'm hitting that, I'm hitting that point. Of course the train comes right now. Hello. So I remember every single long run in college, I would hit this point at an hour in where I was like, I didn't want to be done. Um, so since I have um, an hour left instead of like 10 minutes like I would in college, oh, my eyeballs. To combat that tiredness, I'm gonna eat this gel right now. Oh my gosh, sweat is dripping in my eyes. Usually I would eat it while running, but um, I wanted to get some footage in. Yummy. This is exactly what I want to eat. I'm gonna sweat. Okay, it's kind of good though. This is... <laughs> running is such a beautiful sport. This is only good if you're an hour into a 20 mile run. I'm not running 20 miles. Wow, <laughs> I feel like I have to do that all over again. Hoping this 25 grams of carbohydrates revives me. So I've been told that's what do, that's what it does. Okay, it's kind of good, Loki. I'm gonna go out to 59 minutes, um, and then turn around because knowing me, I'll probably be slowing down on the way back to keep the heart rate the same, so I'm gonna give myself two minutes of wiggle room there. Wow, it's loud. Oh no, it's all gone. Ideally, I'd like to have some water, but I don't have any water, so. I guess we're just gonna be a little parched. On the way back. All right. I'm gonna go out for two and a half more mins. Oh man, I shouldn't have stopped. My legs are stiff now. Here we go. Here we are. Okay, we just hit seven miles and I'm turning around. So this is gonna be a 14 mile run. Definitely the longest run I've ever done in my life. Okay, go. Surprise, it's already me again. Um, I could not film on the way back because I was um, perishing. Okay, yeah, note to self, I'm not gonna be able to film myself during these things. <laughs> I was literally dying. Let's see. Fastest half marathon, 151, wow. Recovery time, 57 hours. Well, we have about uh, 24 until I run again, so. <laughs> 14.1 miles, 831 a mile. Not the fastest. My heart rate was pretty high. I definitely was pushing it. I just needed to finish the run. <laughs> oh my gosh, I need to turn off the notifications on my watch. I got about 50 text messages, not trying to flex. Um, I'm popular and I'm still getting them right now. Just kidding, I'm just in a group text. And oh my gosh, my arm was buzzing for the last half of the run, just over and over. I was like, oh, stop, Ugh, stop it. Oh, hello. Hey. Okay, so the, the dog going crazy outside. So some of the things I learned from this two hour run, um, looking forward in my training is I probably need more goo. Um, I started feeling pretty fatigued probably an hour and a half in and I was like, I don't know if I can make it back. But um, I also realized that a lot of this is mental. <laughs> so obviously I made it back, um, I was fine. Um, I definitely pushed it too hard but also I just really wanted it to be over, so I need to be a little bit more disciplined with my heart rate. Um, I was definitely creeping into zone three and it was supposed to be zone two, so. But what can you do? Um, I need to foam roll now, immediately when I go home. Um, and 
moving forward, anything beyond two hours, I think I'm definitely gonna need to bring liquid with me because I was getting pretty parched towards the end and I never really feel thirsty on runs, so that's not really a good sign. <laughs> But overall, I'm very proud of myself. I completed the longest run by far I've ever done in my life. 14.1 miles, wow. It's a big stepping stone. Um, I can't imagine running another hour, but apparently I'll be racing another hour in five months, so. Taking steps in the right direction though, being patient with everything. Yeah, so. What? My necklace turned my neck green. Wow, it's you know it's quality. I'm a little delusional right now. I'm gonna go home, step on my soul healers first of all, and then I'm going to go eat some food, and then I have to go off to coaching. So thank you guys for watching another episode of Mileage to Marathoner. I'm super excited to see where this training takes me. I can't believe I'm already doing two-hour runs. Wow. Hopefully I can do them a little faster in the future, but we're taking steps in the right direction. So hope you guys are all accomplishing your goals for this track season and looking towards cross because we're gonna be grinding all summer let's get fit fellas all right if you want to do the same type of endurance training just like me um click the link down below for shop performance shout out to coach austin building up my aerobic base here so i'll see you in the next one peace out